Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is October 10th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I am going to talk more about Hurricane Michael, which on its track toward the Florida Panhandle has continued to intensify and is now just shy of category five status as it is crossing the Florida coast. The storm intensified on approach to land and according to the National Hurricane Center, now features a minimum central pressure of 923 millibars, which is a, a, an intensity that has been associated with some category five hurricanes. The storm itself is presently estimated to have maximum sustained winds in the range of 150 miles per hour, which is a, a very, very intense wind field. This intensification prior to landfall in such a way reminds me a bit of, of Hurricane Andrew, uh, a storm that was later classified as a Category 5 after striking the Florida coast. And, and we might see a similar event here with Michael. In any case, Michael is an extraordinarily dangerous, unprecedented storm for this region of the world. We have never had a record of a category four storm striking the Florida panhandle for throughout the US weather record. And in addition, the storm is now a very intense category four storm bordering on category five intensity. So this storm will bring catastrophic impacts along its projected path and to the right of its center as it crosses land, which appears to be in the Big Bend region here of Florida on the, on the west side of the Big Bend region. This is a, a tragedy that is unfolding. Um, we certainly hope that everyone in the path of this storm has, has gotten out, has evacuated, and remain safe because this is this is a a, a a major catastrophic impact by a landfalling hurricane. Uh, I'd just like to call your attention to a, a couple of statements by by experts, hurricane experts. One being Eric Blake, which 26 min minutes ago showed a 900. Um, a, a 922 millibar to 919 millibar reading. Um, the only two storms with a lower minimum central pressure were Camille and the Labor Day hurricane, uh, both of which produced catastrophic impacts. So, so a, a very, very potentially severe, well, obviously severe situation that is ongoing. Also like to point out this stunning, stunning satellite shot, which was provided by Philippe Papin. And as Michael approaches the Florida panhandle, showing not only the satellite shot, but also frequency of, of lightning strikes, which, which is an indicator for intensity in the eye wall. And the frequency of lightning strikes is increasing on approach to landfall, likely due to warmer than normal sea surface temperatures, providing the storm an extra kick as it approaches land. And, and this is a, a human caused climate change fingerprint. These warmer than normal sea surface temperatures increase the peak potential intensity of storms. I'd like to also just note a, a quote from Michael Mann, which I, which I think is entirely appropriate in this situation. He notes that I, I prefer unnatural disaster when talking about impacts 
that have been exacerbated by climate change. And I think it's a pretty true statement to say that Michael is an unnatural disaster at this time. We are seeing a storm that is feeding off of much warmer than normal ocean temperatures. Sea surface temperature anomalies in the range of 2.5 to 2.6 degrees Celsius or more. This is 4.7, nearly 5 degrees Fahrenheit above normal sea surface temperatures in this zone where Michael is approaching land. Th throughout this hurricane season, we've been talking continuously about warmer than normal sea surface temperatures near the United States and how these much warmer than normal sea surface temperatures could provide an added kick to hurricanes as they approach land. And this appears to be exactly what has happened with Michael, a, a tragic intensification just prior to landfall to one of the top three, potentially top three most intense storms to, to make landfall on the U.S. according to reports from some hurricane experts. Of course, we're going to want a, a final confirmation on those initial observations. And just one more point is that Michael is sitting in moist air and will be moving over lands that have been heavily saturated with moisture. And so as Michael moves over land, it will tend to weaken, but but there is a, a potential that this weakening will be slowed due to the fact that the atmosphere is so moisture rich and that the lands Michael will be moving over are so wet and, and which may create a, a, a kind of what is was known as a brown ocean kind of effect that that could continue to to result in in severe impacts as Michael moves further into land transitioning more to to a powerful rainstorm but but with hurricane force winds that are likely to extend rather far inland and with a storm likely to maintain tropical storm intensity as it moves over land even in the 24-hour time frame so so a very 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 dangerous situation right now a, a rapidly worsening situation as michael approaches the florida coast and looks like it is making landfall i'm going to go ahead and zoom in making landfall at this time just west of the the big bend region of Florida. Thank you for joining me and I'll be chatting with you soon.